Area enclosed by a curve and a line or by two curves. You will find this on page 333 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Area enclosed by a curve and a line or by two curves. Okay, so there's the curve, there's the line. The figure shows the region bounded by the line Y equals GX and the curve Y equals FX. Suppose that the line and the curve intersect at the points A and B, where the, the X coordinates of A and B are A and B, respectively, small letters. Then the area A enclosed between the two curves can be determined, and here how you do that. So the shaded area A enclosed by Y equals FX and Y equals GX is a area underneath y equals fx, the one that's on top, okay, uh, minus the area under the area underneath gx, so you subtract, so you take actually that whole area, and then you subtract that area, and then you're left with that one, okay, so it's the exterior, that top function, minus the interior function, now the exterior function must be written first, the top one, Okay, let's look at an example. Find the area enclosed by the curve, this and the line. Okay, now first you have to find the point A and B, or that points of intersection. So solve the two, find the x coordinates of the two points of intersection by solving the two equations simultaneously. Okay, so... Um, I, if I substitute the one into the other one, I factorize, I get 6 and 1. So basically, this is the 1 and this is the 6. Then the line and the curve intersects at 1 and 6. The area will then be 6 and 1, and it's first, first the curve minus the straight line. And, and first simplify this. Before you integrate, simplify this. So multiply that negative in, add the like, subtract the like terms and get this. And now you can integrate and then you can substitute and find the answer. Okay. Um, I'm going to let you, because this one is very obvious, I'm going to let you do number two. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, try now 21 and I want you to do number two. Okay. Because it's not such difficult. This is, if it's x squared plus 1, I know that it's also going to do that and it's going to cut there at 1. So I have a, I have a rough sketch. Let's just say this is number 2. I have the sketch and I just want to... Okay, I'm just going to make a rough sketch. So because I know it is x squared, I know that it's going to be something also like that. Well, I start with the pen, the ruler. Okay, so there is one. Now, I, I, I know that this is my straight x, so if it's positive 3, then the line is going to cut like this. Okay. I just know, it doesn't matter, we all now found the points. Okay, so I'm going to find that two points, but can you see from this sketch, you can see which one is actually on top. If you look at the previous one, which one was on top? The curve. But if you look at this one, in a straight line, because I, I want you to find that. But let's first find that point and that point, and how do I find that? I'm first going to just solve them simultaneously. So find the x, okay, let's just say here. Find the x coordinates of the points of intersection. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to solve them simultaneously. So it's just going to be x squared. 
I usually I first like to write down, and I'm going to do it here, I first like to write it down before I start. And the other one, this is my straight line. And then I'm going to solve them simultaneously by substituting the one into the other one. So it's x squared. Um, I'm going to just make it like that, a bit easier. So it's going to be x squared minus x minus 2, and that's 0. And then it's going to be 2 and 1, and 1 and 1, and 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. The biggest over cross gets a negative, positive x, x. So it's going to be x minus 2, x plus 1, and that's 0. So therefore, x is equal to 2, or x is equal to negative 1. Okay. So basically, what is it saying to me that this, this is negative 1 and this is 2. Okay, and from the sketch, you can see now that which one is on top? It's the straight line. So if I'm going to do that one, I'm going to say area, enclosed area. And I'm going to say 2 and negative 1. <clears throat> and now I'm going to take, it's first this one, the one, the outside, the exterior one, the top one. So it's going to be x plus 3. I prefer putting a bracket like that, okay. Um, minus, then the curve is at the bottom, interior. So it's x squared plus 1. And then it's going to be dx because I'm going to the x-axis. Okay, I'm going to just do it here. So if I'm, um, if I'm just going to simplify first, so um, I can do it a little bit faster. But x plus three minus x squared minus one dx. Okay, uh, that was unnecessary. I think I could have skipped this step. But it's all right. So it's going to be x plus 2 minus x squared. And I'm going to be dx. Okay, now I'm going to integrate. Um, okay, so this is going to be x2 over 2 plus 2x minus x3 over 3, and my boundaries is 2 and negative 1. Then I'm moving it up. Uh, let's see if I can simplify. No, I don't think so. So I think I can go for the substitution. So it's going to be um, 2 squared over 2 plus 2, 2 minus 2 to the power of 3 over 3 minus, and I'm going to move it still a little bit, um, negative 1 squared over 2 plus 2 negative 1 minus negative 1 to the power of 3 over 3. Okay, and if I simplify this 4, so this is going to be 2 plus 4 minus, this is 2 to the power, it's 8 over 3. And this is going to be positive, so half minus 2. This is going to become negative, multiply, so positive 1 over 3. Okay, and then I'm just going to simplify that. That's going to be 6 minus 8, and this is 3. That's 3 and 1 third. And that's going to be okay. Just want to redo that. It's negative, and it's a negative one and one over six. 
So can you see, and I'm just putting this step in for the video, it's not necessary. Positive, negative times negative. Okay. So plus three ABC, one ABC, three equals. And that will give me exactly four, oh, my pen. Four and a half units square. Okay, and that will be my final answer. Not really that difficult. Just make sure, just make sure which one is on top. And the one that's on top, you write first. So it's not always the curve or the straight line. It depends which one is on top.